anniversary to mom. We ain't got no kids. Tell them, baby, we ain't got no kids. Welcome to another edition of Serving It Up With. Well, it's just me today, y'all. Shay Marie got the day off, so we're going to get into this video. I told y'all, I hope y'all watched the last video. We just put it out. Um, you know, we're going to try to get back in to create more content. Uh, if you've seen, I had this bag right here. I told y'all I had a surprise for the next video for y'all. And this is what it's going to be, y'all. We have strawberry burr roots. And we're going to plant these in hydroponics. And let me tell you guys something. This is the most satisfying thing to plant in hydroponics. Um, Marie calls me the whisperer when it comes to the strawberries. Uh, she always lets me do it. I don't know. I was really interested in it when I first seen you could do this. And this is like one of the first things I tried to do when I've had a uh, pretty good success with growing strawberries indoors. Um, so this is what they're going to look like when you get them. If you grow them from seed, hey, you're a beast. I ain't never seen that. I ain't did it, you know, in hydroponics. If you grow these from seed, you're a beast. I don't know how it works. But what you do is you go on Amazon or when it's time, when it's uh, when they're in season, you can go to like Lowe's or somewhere or Walmart or something, and they'll have uh, strawberry burr roots that would lie dormant in the wintertime. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I'll link these in the description because uh, these are the best ones that I've gotten. Like these are already have green on them. Like they're ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these cleaned up. I'll show you how to do it. Uh, put them in the sponges, get them in the units, and then uh, we'll... We'll check and see what we got. Be back. All right, we back. Y'all ain't gonna see me, but y'all gonna see, you know, what we doing. First things first. Let me give me, you know, a little mixture. I'm gonna pour a little. No, uh, hate on me in the comments. I'm gonna pour a little Pepsi in there. I won't get too, you know, tipsy while we doing this. We're gonna dilute it a little bit with some Pepsi, but, you know, I gotta drink my little bourbon. You know, we in Kentucky now. Yes, sir. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to grab our burr roots, and we're going to try to separate them gently because the roots are really important. So what we want to do is see if we can get them out here. See if we can get one separated. And I'm going to be looking for, like me, right now, I can't even remember how many I ordered, but I'm going to be looking for a fairly good one with some green like this one already has like leaves trying to open up on it and this part is fairly important because the thing about strawberries um, when you get them burrow root of course we're uh, transferring these basically to hydroponics and uh, so these are grown in dirt and uh, with hydroponics you want to uh, you want to try to wash everything away because especially if there could be like pest mixed in here um that's the last thing you want in your hydroponics because pests are pests uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna i'm trying to decide if i want to keep this all of this dead stems that's coming out of here we're gonna we're gonna trim these away so we're gonna trim those away and uh i got some scissors here so we're just gonna snip snip uh, that's another one. These are it's a shoots. These are shoots that are coming off. Uh, Cause you know strawberries will root themselves and make new ones. So I'm cutting all these dead uh, shoots off, and you want to keep the healthiest parts of the plant right here. So I'm really like I know these are all gonna come up into more um, strawberries and whatnot uh, leaves. So I'm really deciding if I want to keep this because this looks like. It's opening up. I don't know if it'll recover or just be there wasting energy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. And what we're left with is pretty much the healthiest part of the plant. And then what we got to do is we got to get in here and we got to wash these uh, roots and the base of her very thoroughly. Let me clear this out. I don't want a bunch of gunk going down my sink. I don't want too much going down the sink. All right. Let's get some water on these things. I just want to give it a real good thorough rinse. Um, run your fingers through. Try to make sure there's no uh, bugs. Because, I mean, you yep, that just comes with it. Bugs can be hiding anywhere. So we'll give that a nice thorough rinse. 
and we want to do it, you know, gently as well. We want to rinse these, but we want to save these roots because this is what's really going to make the plant take off. And you'll see the results. Uh, you'll see the results in about, uh, really in a week. You'll start seeing these start to flourish in about a week or two. And it's great. They, these have already waken up. We've opened uh, the bag, and I guess it could feel the warmth. And it was sitting on top of an Earl Garden. It wasn't really getting any light. But I was so surprised when I opened the bag again and I started seeing, like, green. I was like, wow, these things are woken up. Normally I get it, and they're completely dead, like chopped to here. And there's nothing on them. Just roots in this little base right here. So I think these roots are pretty clean. They're not gonna go back to being 100% white roots. Like, and if you do hydroponics, you know when you lift up the base of the units and you look in there, the roots are like the whitest roots you've ever seen. I love it, how cool and clean everything looks. But these will not go back to being white. These have been in dirt. These will not go back to being white. So we're just gonna set these here for now in the sink. What we're gonna do is, remember the last video, we showed you about these sponges. Uh, the sponge, sits in the basket and then you want to cover it for the light um, so we won't have to worry about that so much uh, but I know you're wondering last time we put a seed in here and it grew up out of, and it grows up out of there but we have a whole root system so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our scissors we're gonna stick our scissor right there where that hole is and we're just gonna cut it just try to get it like in half we're gonna get that grow basket cut it in split it in half basically and I'm trying to do it without degrading or breaking the sponge up too much. Try to get it right there in the middle. Just split it where we got a nice little split in there. And then what we want to do with that split, want to try to get it opened up a little bit, but we don't, you have to be really careful. It's really, these sponges are really kind of delicate. And then what you want to do is you want to take your root system and then you want to keep, you want to cover it like right up to here. So these sponges are actually really small. Um, the ones we normally get are, um, usually I feel like they're a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit like wider. So you just want to just try to wrap it, try to wrap, wrap it around there up to that little base as much as possible. And then uh, we get tricky. And this is really like holding everything in place. And then also the sponge, the Earl Garden units have a, a system where the, when the water is uh, being swirled around or whatnot, then uh, it actually has a hole to where it continuously keeps the sponge wet. So we're going to just gently pull the roots through here. I don't know if you can see, I'm trying. We're going to gently pull the roots through that basket. And we're just going to set it down in there. And we're going to try to, like I said, gently, gently. We want to keep these roots as much intact as possible. And we want to try to gently just get them through so they'll sit down through the, through the bottom of this. We want them to hang down. So whichever way you can pull them out very gently, we'll do that. And then basically, so we have some sitting out. I don't know if I have this under the best. Actually, I think I'm gonna lift it up and try it a little better. I wanna see how I can get these roots through here a little bit better, just a little bit better. Okay, I think that works a lot better, yeah. Okay, so we got a lot of the roots hanging out through here. And I know normally, I'm gonna set this back in the sink for a second. Uh, last time we were talking about these stickers. Uh, don't actually I really don't know these look like they're in pretty good condition But we do want to block the light because we are going to be adding nutrients in these uh, immediately um, So I'm gonna take a sticker uh, so normally I've been covering these with foil Because honestly by the time I got the strawberries We had already planted a bunch of lettuces and stuff and we didn't have any more of the stickers that it came with But since I found this online cheap and I can link that too where I found this We're gonna see if we can get these little stickers over these plants yeah just like so so we can get that light covered up as much as possible when this goes in the unit so I think we actually did very well very 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 well we got that sticker on there yeah because we don't want any like nutrients is going in this right away so yeah there it is and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill our unit up over here with water and then we're going to drop these right in the unit and it's going to be sitting in this water. 
So I will show you guys that in a second. Give me a second and we'll move through the next process. All right, so now I have the unit sitting in the sink. We're gonna put some water in here. Don't forget to indulge. It almost fell over, y'all. It almost fell over. It's all right, it'll be fine. Now this is an I do unit. This is not an Earl Garden unit. This is the I do unit. It is uh, generally a lot cheaper and it holds 12 pots. So what we're gonna do is, I just wanna try to show y'all, that's why I got it in the sink. So we've got it filled up and it has like a fill line somewhere. You can kind of see the water level through this little window right here. But then we have this cover that goes on here and it's probably gonna sink more down into the sink. Let me see if I can get it up here a little bit. All right, can y'all still see that? Yeah, y'all can see that. All right, so we got the top on it now and our water level is just about full. So now what we're gonna do is see where our sponge here and I'm just gonna pick a hole. I think you, can, you guys can see the best. And we'll gently push our roots down in there into the water. Gently, gently, gently. And we're done. That's one plant. So what we'll do is we'll repeat this. Um, I can't remember how many came in this pack. I want to say... Uh, maybe 15 but what I want to do is uh, which we've done in the past is we're trying to get the strawberry patch indoor strawberry patch I think that's what I'm gonna call this video we're gonna get we're gonna do all 12 holes because I think I have enough bird roots to get them all done and the when you do this because they don't need a lot of space to grow the duck pretty much just grow here and then the strawberries will start hanging over and I'll show you some pictures of how it looked last time I can never get all 12 of them to prosper at the same time usually like one or two will and then the, then it'll like die off and another one will and then, so it could be just it needs more water nutrients i don't know but you can yield really good results doing this so what we're going to do off camera is i'm going to repeat this step 11 more times we're going to separate wash them get them in the pods and uh then i will get the unit turned on set up show you guys what i'm doing uh, we'll get some nutrients added to it right away because these already have roots and once these things are in a warm environment if you're you know like now it's winter it's, uh, january it's like 30 something degrees outside um, indoors in your house you keep it around like 70 you know that's what we keep it at about 70 degrees uh, once you get that 70 degree temperature mix with the light when this comes on when this unit comes on with the light and you get some nutrients these plants will wake up and i mean immediately these things will start to take off in like a week so i'm going to get this planted and then we'll be right back and we'll get it all set up and i'll show you guys all right everybody we got them planted so they're all in the unit now i did the first one for you and then i just repeated that step 11 more times and now we got them all planted in the unit now get ready, cause I'm telling you these things. You see, I took a little, took a little chunk out of my drink too. Mm -mm -mm. Let that bourbon. Anyways, take good notes. Take good notes, cause in about a week, I'm telling y'all, I'm not gonna just claim it. I mean, I am gonna claim it, but you definitely want to claim it. But you know, I'm not just gonna say it's an automatic thing. But I'm telling y'all, in about a week, maybe two weeks. These things are gonna take off. They're gonna have leaves. They're gonna start growing. You're gonna see it. And it's gonna be beautiful. I got everything all cleaned up and now I'm about to go get it plugged in and uh, show you the settings that I have the unit on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I have everything plugged in. It's where it needs to go with the other Earl Gardens along with the one we just planted here a few days ago. Nothing happening there yet, so we will keep you guys updated on the pak choy and the lettuce. And also nothing on our peppers yet, so stay tuned for that. We still have this one. I don't know what she wants to do. I didn't touch it. This is the one I ooh, This is the one I normally plant the strawberries in because it's red and strawberries are red. But that one was taken, so I put it in the white one. So we will see. Let's go ahead and get some decor on her, you know. Ooh, this thing got cobwebs on the wind used them in so long let's get some little decor i like to put this i like to block this actually like i'll move it and see what the water level is 
But like we said in the, the other videos, um, the less light that gets in there, the better. So you want to get everything just covered up as much as possible. I have to scoot this back to get that on there good. Yeah, so I just like to put something in front of that little window and then I'll just move it, check the water level, and then I'll put it back there. But yeah, um, we got little things we be putting in. Like, let's get a little, let's get a little decor going on there. It's a little, little thing. This one's a little dusty. Let me see if I can dust this off real quick and get him up in there. It's a little dusty. Let me see. We have. It's a, I told you it was a uh, Earl Garden graveyard going on in here. Let me see. Let me just stick this one somewhere else. Let's see. We got a little turtle here. Where are you gonna go? You go there. You go there. What else we got? Some other little things. We got these things from the dollar store, but I like them. Get that little little bench in there. And you, you little chocolate gnome. You get in there, you little chocolate gnome. You. All right. There's a couple of things in there. But yeah, so the settings, uh, we just have it on. Fan and water, of course. So the, I mean, the fan and water means that the pump is going. Um, power, of course, means that it's on. And then I have it set to... Uh, flowers and fruits because we are growing fruits and that's basically it hopefully we'll check in with you guys in another week or so and we will have a thriving strawberry patch and uh, like I said it doesn't take long for these to get going and hopefully you know in a month or so we'll have some uh, strawberries that we can show you guys all right y'all so it's one more thing that we left out and that's getting the nutrients into the unit because these are already thriving plants, sort of. Uh, but they're already sprouted and everything, so we need to get nutrients in here right away. Uh, we got the Earl Garden nutrients. Uh, I said we was going to do that earlier, so I'm not going to lie to y'all. And uh, also, I'm going to link everything that we use here in the description. So uh, I bought a kit that was really, really cheap, especially with the nutrients because it came with like six bottles of this stuff. And this stuff is not that cheap. Uh, when you look at the grand scheme of things so I was able to get all these things for like $28 I believe $28, $29 no more than $30 uh, it came with the sponges the baskets uh, the stickers that we used to cover the baskets and like six things of nutrients which is crazy so let's go ahead and get the nutrients in here it has a little cap on the side of this unit and also I will link this unit in here as well so I'll link every single thing that we've used in here today. So we're gonna pop that look top over to this unit. We'll open this, I think it's the yeah, fresh bottle. And we'll get the nutrients put in here. Let me see if I can get it popped open. Eh, come on. Usually I have fingernails, I cut my nails. <laughs> All right, where are my scissors at? I'm getting tired of this. Okay, we got it, we got it. All right, we got it open. I'm going to just set that up there for now. So, and it tells you, because this is based on uh, the Aero Gardens, so it goes by pods. So it says two to three pods models gets uh, a cap full. Uh, six to seven pod models get two cap fulls. Nine pod models get uh, two to three cap fulls. And 12 pod models get four to six cap fulls. Now, what I don't know is if it's talking about if the Aero Garden... Um, has six pods is it talking about the amount of water that's in there so I'll be nervous about this part so what I've been doing is even though this is a 12 pot unit and the Earl Garden is uh, the smaller ones that we use is a six pot unit the amount of water in these units is about the same so I don't know if it's really going by the amount of nutrients that the plants would actually need or is it going by the amount of water in there that you want to put the nutrients into so what I'm going to do is, this year, I'm going to start with the two capfuls like we do for the six-pot unit because the tanks are about the same size. And then, earlier in the video, I said that I wasn't able to really get all 12 of them to thrive at the same time. And that may be because we need to add, you know, like two more caps of nutrients. So I'm going to start it off with two caps of nutrients. And then uh, we might up that when they start flowering to four caps of nutrients. And we'll see if that works. So, oh, it's very important. Let's cap it off real quick. You want to shake it. Give it a good little shake. Mix it all up. All right, so now we got it shaking. We're going to put some nutrients in here. We got one cap full. 
and two capfuls. And we're done. So I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me again, man. Next time Shane Marie will be here with me, I'm sure. And that's all I got for y'all, man. So hopefully we'll check in in a week and we'll see a lot of progress on her, man. Y'all be good. We out.